welcome back to another video with me, Mystery Flipping. My name is Josh. I hope you are all well. This is the third episode of um kind of our first box of mystery uh, boxes from Pop Culture again. Um, I do believe there has been a mistake. So I've been getting the Pop Culture exclusives, and it is a Pop Culture exclusive mystery box. Um, I have checked, and I do believe what I see is I did order the normal one. Um, and I have got this um, more expensive one, which I have no problem in. Um, however, um, I will message them because I don't want to kind of have my next parcel and have the same thing hit me. In the sense of, if I have three exclusives, I'm going to get the exact same. I'm not saying that I'm not going to get the exact same if I get the normal ones. It's just that... I prefer variety. I don't collect fa um, spastic plastic at all. Um, and, you know, I do collect a pop every now and then. So for me, I'm going to keep the gold troll from the previous um, video, which is good. There is a pop in here that I do want. Um, and But I generally find that in the other mystery bots, I generally have three or four um, pops that I like to keep. Um, and then I resell the rest to um, basically cover for what I've just paid. Um, I will state, uh, and this is just me personally, um, since doing YouTube, um, I, I have bought a lot of pops that I own, you know, I, my signed pops, um, etc. And I will state that this is all because of pop culture. Um, their value is so good that I, I managed to buy pops that I wouldn't have thought I'd be able to ever own in my possession, um, because the value is generally really good. However, um, this could hit me because... These are pops that I, I find a little bit harder to sell. None of them really appeal to me. Um, and it's not just that. Um, <laughs> Customs would have hit me for a exclusive um, box, not a normal box. So I would have paid more um, in customs etc so i will go and double check this all um it's not a massive deal but i do also find that i get a damn sight better value for money in the other box so we will have a check and see what happens so the first one from this one is psycho shriner so again you know a lot of people might like the funko um spastic plastics i personally just don't like them um and that's why i don't really normally keep them um then we have this is quite a cool one. It's not my cup of tea because I don't particularly like Christmas. But we have Buddy Elf um, Funko Shop Limited Edition. So not a bad little pull there. Especially as it is getting quite close to um, Christmas. Then this is one that we kind of did want. Um, is the Steve Irwin. This normally always comes. Um, and it's a good pop to have because a lot of people do like this. Then we have Agent J um, from Men in Black. So again, a good start. And then we have the Monkey Assassin. Now this Monkey Assassin I love just because it, it's actually all bloody. The last one I want I, I won't like. This is probably one that I might keep just because one I'm uh, a massive like horror fan. This kind of reminds me of Kill Bill. Um, and I just love the blood dripping off of the uh, sword, the blood on his face. Um, just in general, really detailed, really nice pop. And then finally we have, what's this one? It's TJ. So we have TJ from Spastic Plastic. And finally, the last and final one from this mystery box then i will be opening um two more boxes which is a horror pop mystery box and a dragon ball z so at least i will have some sort of variety so oh, messed up Let's chuck that there i can already tell what one is it looks like it's the owl um, from, uh, is it Mr. Owl? Yeah. So I have Mr. Owl from Tootsie Roll. Add icon, which isn't too bad. Then I have the uh, Rat Fink. I normally always get the um, green chrome one. So it's quite nice to actually have the normal Rat Fink. 
Then we have the other Big Owl. I did get Big Owl, I think, in the previous one, but it's not this one. It's a different Big Owl here. Then we have the green chat and we had the grey one. I already know this is worth eight quid. Then we have Harry Potter. Um, this is the invisible cloak one. So not too bad. I normally um, have a seller for that all the time. And finally we have white fury glitter. So I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've actually owned every single one of those pops, um, apart from Gold Troll and Monster. Oh, uh, the Hunter, sorry, uh, which was in the previous video. Um, so it's not that bad. It's just annoying that it's a lot of um, spastic plastic. You know, it's just not my cup of tea. Um, I don't know mystery boxes aren't necessarily everyone's cup of tea. That's what you take in a mystery box. But that's the reason I, I learned my like lesson from the previous one when I did order and it come a little bit damaged and I was like, uh and then even for value for money, I was just like, uh it's just not worth it. So I will go ahead and check the prices of these pops. Um I might be startlingly surprised. I don't think I will be because I don't think Buddy Elf, uh, Steve Owen and Monkey Assassin are gonna save this um um it kind of box from being half decent um so we will go ahead and check the prices out um so i will go and check now and i will be right so, back ladies and gentlemen have we hit over 500 pound worth of value in this mystery box let's find out so start off with number five psycho shriner um it's worth 18 quid um number 15 rat think which is um uh, the Kind of box standard one it's not a chrome one which is kind of a little bit better it's worth 13 pound um and actually psycho shiner the 18 pound one there's a lot um and there is one that's actually worth 51 pound which was like jesus christ um big owl um the other one that we had previously was only worth five this one is worth eight pound probably my favorite of the whole kind of episode um uh, monkey assassin um is worth 21 pound and the other Monkey Assassin, there's one, I think, just in black, no kind of blood splatter. It's also worth £21. Um, number 20, number uh, Chet, the other Chet is worth eight quid. This one is also worth £8. Um, then number 21, TJ. I've never, I, I thought I had him before. I went back and checked. I actually haven't ever owned uh, TJ either. Um, and that is worth £20. So quite a nice little pop there. Um, Mr. Owl from the ad icons of Tootsie Rolls is worth £9. Um, then Harry Potter, the special edition pop culture exclusive, that is worth £21. And I generally sell um, that Harry Potter because I've had it so many times and I generally get it between kind of the £18 and £22 mark. Um, Buddy Elf, I thought maybe, was a half decent one as it was a limited edition Funko um, special. Um, but it's actually only worth £12. Um, then we go to Light Fury Glitter is worth £16. Um, Agent J um, is worth £9. And finally, 9 50 Steve Irwin with Snake Around His Neck is worth £24. So, episode 1 came to £136. Episode 2 was the best episode we had, which was worth £192. And this episode, we needed a £172 guarantee to get to 500 Luckily, we got £179, so we managed to um, accumulate £507 worth of value um, from pop culture, which is uh, very nice considering, you know, the box normally costs about £200. Yeah, it kind of sucks that it wasn't the one that we wanted, and I know people can say that I'm being a bit salty in that aspect. It's just that I look at it on profit margins more than anything. And something that costs £200 and only get £500 back, compared to something that's £100 and you get nearly £600 back, kind of shows you the difference between the two of them. Um, but we will, of course, prove that factor out um, later on down the line when my second um, load come, and it should, touch wood, um, be the normal mystery boxes. But apart from that, that is it for this kind of series or episodes 
um, this box, shall I say. Um, I will record two more videos in a second. They will be of my mini mystery boxes. So hopefully that will be half decent. But that is it for our, our what I'm going to call now our pop culture exclusive mystery box. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, guys, I shall see you all very soon.